In a world where information is the new gold, a young prodigy known as Alex or Gopheric in underground circles delves into the depths of the digital underbelly. With a past filled with broken dreams and shattered friendships, he's determined to prove himself. I have to make this work. I have to show them what I can do. Once a promising student, Alex found himself expelled for hacking into the school system. A reckless mistake born from boredom and a desperate need for validation. But rather than giving up, he embraced his skills and turned to the dark web, searching for a way to assert his place in a world that seemed determined to disregard him. They think they can just throw me away. I'll show them. I'll show them all. One day, amidst the chaos of the forums, he found it. A job opportunity at a data processing center for a cryptocurrency exchange. It was the perfect cover for his ambitions and a step closer to freedom. This is it. This is my chance. I can't mess this up. What makes you the right fit for this position? I can optimize your data flows to make transactions faster and more secure. I know how to identify fraudulent activities and keep systems safe. You won't regret this decision. With the job secured, Gaferic's real work began. He was determined to pull off a scheme that would leave him wealthy beyond his wildest dreams. He stealthily connects his skimming device to the servers, testing it as transactions pulse on the monitors. He presses a button. His heist has begun. As days turned into weeks, Gaferic skimmed millions, remaining undetected. The thrill became intoxicating, and with each successful transfer, his confidence grew. He began to indulge in luxurious items, new gadgets, designer clothes, a life he'd only dreamed of before. What do you mean our accounts are zero? This can't be right. Find out what happened right now. This is a disaster. We need answers immediately cluttered bedroom, a teenager named Alex was about to change his life forever. He started hacking at the age of 13, driven by a curiosity that soon spiraled into obsession. By 16, he had already been kicked out of school, no college on the horizon. But instead of giving up, he found a new path, offering his skills to anyone willing to pay. From gathering sensitive information to installing ingenious malware, Alex quickly built a reputation in underground forums. Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and other cryptocurrencies were the new gold rush, and he was ready to dive in. Then one day he stumbled upon a job listing for a data processing center servicing a burgeoning cryptocurrency exchange. This was the opportunity he'd been waiting for. He aced the interview, dazzling them with his technical practice. In a, small in a small cluttered bedroom, a teenager named Alex was about to change his life forever. He started hacking at the age of 13, driven by a curiosity that soon spiraled into obsession. By 16, he had already been kicked out of school, no college on the horizon. But instead of giving up, he found a new path, offering his skills to anyone willing to pay. From gathering sensitive information to installing ingenious malware, Alex quickly built a reputation in underground forums. Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and other cryptocurrencies were the new gold rush, and he was ready to dive in. Then one day he stumbled upon a job listing for a data processing center servicing a burgeoning cryptocurrency exchange. This was the opportunity he'd been waiting for. He aced the interview, dazzling them with his technical prowess. They asked him to write an algorithm under pressure and he delivered flawlessly, hiding his true intentions beneath a mask of confidence. Little did they know had plans beyond processing data. The device he installed isn't just hardware, it's a key to a million-dollar heist. As transactions processed, Alex's program intercepted data skimming off millions without anyone noticing. The more the exchange grew, the larger his take. On a seemingly ordinary Monday morning, panic set in, the company was gone, millions vanished, leaving only chaos in its wake. As investigators pieced together the puzzle, they discovered a familiar pattern. Another mugging by the invisible hand of a hacker, but Alex was long gone, hiding in the digital shadows. 
Despite the millions in his pocket Alex knew he was a wanted man, always looking over his shoulder, always a step ahead. The hunt continued, but so did the thrill of the chase. This isn't just a story of greed it's a story of survival in a world driven by ones and zeros. What will happen next? Only time will tell. With $50 million in stolen cryptocurrency at his fingertips, Alex knew he had to act swiftly. The authorities were closing in, and every moment brought him closer to capture. His plan was simple, yet brilliant. Embark on a new life in an offshore tax-free haven, where anonymity was the currency of survival. With a virtual private network he started forging documents, assuming a new identity, Alex was ready to leave everything behind. He booked a one-way ticket to a location far from prying eyes, where he would live under the radar, running operations through anonymous channels. Under the guise of a tech entrepreneur, Alex launched new ventures, this time with legitimate cryptocurrency projects. But the thrill of the heist still coursed through his veins. He developed legitimate investment schemes, mixing old tricks with new ambitions, always a step away from notoriety. But the digital world is unforgiving. In the hidden corners of the internet, news of Gaferic's escape began to brew among rival hackers and law enforcement alike. Tension escalated as a shadowy figure on a dark web forum plotted revenge against Gaferic. As he built his new empire, Alex faced a choice, continue to dance with danger or find redemption in honesty. What will Alex choose, power or peace? Thank you for joining us on Gaferic's journey. Did Alex truly escape or will the past catch up with him? Stay tuned for more thrilling stories right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to ensure you never miss an adventure. We post new videos every Friday at 4 p.m. If you have thoughts or comments, leave them below. I personally read and respond to every single one. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.